Hi friends, this is Shekhar Srinivasan and in this video we shall understand how to import Gmail contact list using ASP.NET with c -Sharp. Many students do ask me a question stating that Sir, we are building a new website and we wanted to promote that website. So we wanted to send some email to all the contacts what we have in our Gmail account. So how do we get the list of contacts what we have in a particular Gmail ID? So this video will help out all the people who wanted to get a list of contacts present within a Gmail ID. So to do open web browser and download the Google GData API reference library. The URL for this is https colon slash slash code dot google dot com slash p slash google gdata downloads list. So let's try to open the browser. So once we're done with this, click on Google data api 2.1.0 and once we have this click on this particular link this will try to download the file to your system once the file has been downloaded then we can just find that file in our downloaded folder then try to install this particular google gdata api so the next step what we try to do is after downloading the above file install the file so once this particular file has been installed it will try to add some kind of libraries within a folder program files google google data api sdk under the redistribution so in this particular folder we will have the list of the list of all the references so the above step will get the following library files so in this particular file in the following folder Okay, the above step, whatever you try to do, but once it is installed, the list of all the files, you can find it in this. Now, once we have installed it, let's try to create a new website. I have opened my visualstudio.net, file menu, new website. I simply specify, get contacts, some application. Once we're done with this, the first thing that what we have to do is add the references of the libraries. So I click on the browse, I go to the folder and uh, I try to select the following DLLs. Google GData apps.dll, Google GData client.dll, Google GData contacts.dll and Google GData extensions.dll so these are all the references which we have to add to our application once these references are added now we can add a web form for providing the user interface let me try to have a simple design I would like to collect the username I need a text box to collect the values so I take a text box then I need a password so one more text box and I place a button so that I can get the list of all the contacts when I click on that button a label to provide the status and a grid view control to get the list of all the contacts present in that ID. Now let me try to set the properties for the controls for my convenience. 
the first text box i give it as txt username the next text box i try to provide as txt password and the text mode we have will be password for this button i try to say get gmail contacts list that's the text i am trying to provide it for the label i remove the text and i provide an id called as lbl status for better display let me give the grid view width as 100% for efficient styling you can take the support of bootstrap also now once i design this form now let's try to start with our coding for the visibility i increase the font size the first thing that i try to do here is i would like to include some references that i wanted to use for my program so google dot contacts using google dot g data dot contacts using google dot g data dot client using google dot g data dot extensions these are the four reference libraries which i have to use it so i added this namespaces now when the user get click on get gmail contact list button click i just want to get the list of all the things so to do that what i try to do now is to make the thing simple let me create a simple data set where the data set needs a table tables dot add gmail contacts that's the name of the table i provided this table needs a column so tables of zero dot columns dot add of email id once i provided this details in order to get the information i say request settings r is equal to new request settings this takes three parameters the first one is your application name then the user name and the password once i taken the request settings i try to say auto paging equal to true so when the list of uh, contacts are more then for the grid you can set the paging with the support of this as well next i say contacts request cr equal to new contact request of rs i want to get the feed for this thing so i simply say feed contact i say f equal to cr dot get contacts this is going to give me the list of all the contacts that we we have now once i have the list of contacts i take a for each loop for each contact in f dot entries so this is going to iterate for each and every individual contact that is present within our account then what i try to do was in this contact i need only the email so i take one more for each loop where i say email in contact dot emails so this is going to get a list of email ids what we have here i try to prepare a data row so ds dot tables of zero dot new row and once i got this thing i say row of the column name i given as email id equal to email dot address dot to string this is going to provide you the contacts email id which i try to add it on to my data table ds dot tables of zero dot rows dot add of row once this loop gets over the list of all the contacts email id gets added to your data table now i simply say grid view 1 dot data source equal to ds dot tables of zero grid view 1 dot data pine and i also mentioned that total contacts for txt username dot text 
I just concatenate with ds dot tables of zero dot rows dot column. Quite a simple form we have here. Now let me just try to execute and test with my ID. So I provide my ID shaker online for you Gmail and I try to provide my password and get Gmail contact list. This takes some time depending upon the contacts what you have in your ID. If you have lots of contacts it takes some time for processing the instructions and once it has completed the processing you will get a grid with the list of email IDs which belongs to your contacts and also it will provide you the total number of contacts for us. So you can just try to observe it. The total contacts for Shaker Online for you is 1060 and I have a list of uh, email IDs from my contract extractor. And uh, the source code of this particular demo, you can just find it in my website shakertheguru.net and I also try to provide a live test or live demo in that particular link. Hope this video helps in getting you the list of contacts present in your Gmail ID and you can promote your website properly. Thank you. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. This encourages me to develop more and more videos. Thank you. Yours, Shaker.